Hello, it's chill day. Oh no, I'm falling back. Oh, I'm recovering from being sick again. I can't stop getting sick and I don't know what's going on. Is it my immune system? Am I not eating enough onions? Is that a thing? I just wanted to make this video to show you the new things around the apartment since the last apartment video that I made. It's just a few little things, but I think they really make a difference. And I want to show you the new setup I've got going for Moss, my hamster. And I just want to chill and chat. I mean, today is my day to get my life back together, basically. There's just been this crazy month of so many people visiting and things happening that it's just, I haven't really had a chance to catch up. So today's been super nice. I've answered heaps of emails. I've done my dishes, <laughs> which uh, took me like an hour, which is disgusting. It's just been music, cleaning, and snacking all day. So yeah, it's been pretty nice. Obviously the first thing that I want to show you that's new in my apartment is this wall tapestry behind me right here. <laughs> it's of a forest. Now I actually got this tapestry off a site called Society6. This isn't sponsored by them or anything, this is just, I just want to let you know. Um, Society6 has like heaps of different stuff. It has like wall tapestries, bed covers, shower curtains, curtains. Done by artists and photographers. The site is actually really good for the artists who use it. It's like full credit, there's nothing dodgy about it. It's a really, really good site. So, uh, the one that I got is called Inner Peace by Olivia Joy St. Clair. I went through so many different forests, and this one ended up being the one that suits my soul the most. But I actually want to put, I don't know, some fairy lights around it or something. I want to keep making this place more and more magical. It sounds kind of cheesy. Let me show you how the plants are doing. Snake plant over there, he's doing fine. So, here we have. Good old beefy. This is beefo. So here's the tomato. It's doing really well. Uh, I don't think I need this this help, trainer helping thing, but I don't know. I'll keep it there for a while. But yeah, he's getting bigger and bigger. And then there's the zucchini. It's a very interesting thought having a zucchini in this place because they get to be really, really big. But uh, you know, I'll just keep him in here until he gets too big. Maybe then I'll take him to the rooftop and then see how he goes. Here's another dude. Um, I've given him a bit more sun and he's already had another leaf come out. There's a tiny little Pikmin. Another new thing is this cat mask that I got from Kawagoe. This is next to my desk, so I've turned out to take the table down and keep all of my desk stuff there, which is really nice. The next one I want to get is a Kitsune, a fox mask, and put it above that one. Also, I have this... Uh, Totoro art thing. I used to, I got it ages and ages ago from Etsy. Also, if you remember from the giveaway, there was that paper make your own Kaminarimon. I didn't actually make this. Uh, my friend Eric did, who you might have seen in the last video. When he was here, in any spare time he had, he was uh, putting it together. Now, I can have that just by my desk. Okay, this is uh, the setup that I've got going for Moss right now. So, oh, she's already out. <laughs> Now I've got her sitting just next to my desk, so when I work I can look over and see if that little face is awake. Hello! Hi! <laughs> Hi, do you want to come out? She is. <laughs> She's very sweet. She's a very sweet girl. Oh, going up there. Oh, and there she goes. So the question is like, where is the lid? <laughs> um, unfortunately, this box didn't come with a lid, it came with this whole other contraption with it. So I don't have a lid yet. What I've been doing is, this sounds bad, just, just bear with me. I've been putting cling wrap over the top and just poking a lot of holes in it. Because basically the danger areas are the sides uh, and if the cling wrap's on it in the middle. It's a temporary solution, but it's what I'm dealing with right now. Also with the bedding, I understand that this bedding is not the best bedding for hamsters. Completely understand that. The thing is, the bedding that is good for hamsters is not available uh, in Tokyo. I have searched many, 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 many pet stores and I have not been able to find the right bedding. So I'm ordering some Carefresh online uh, and it's going to take two weeks to arrive. So I'm sure that just for now, as like a temporary thing for just a couple more weeks, uh, the sawdust will be fine. I think it's just long term, they will be bad. Also, I got her a bigger wheel. People were saying I needed to get her a wheel. She did have a wheel in the last place, but uh, it was a bit too small, so I got her a big one. Which is too tall for this container. Next time when I buy a container, I will get a bigger one, like a, a taller one, so that she can borrow. But I honestly, this is, this is what we're working with, and this will be just fine. So for a lid, what I'm planning on doing is going to the home center and getting wood strips to go on all the sides, and then getting mesh to go over the top and then either hammering or using staples to go into uh, the edges to keep the mesh on. So I think that would be totally fine. But yeah, that's what we're working with. One of 
my main weaknesses when it comes to business or life is if something is too difficult for me, uh, I tend to just ignore it. Usually when it comes to emails or messages or yeah, pretty much anything on the internet. If it happens in person, I'll deal with it. But uh, yeah, if it's on the internet, I just can't deal with it. It's not as bad as I make it sound. Usually I will, I always try to reply within 24 hours. But sometimes I will read something and I'll go, that's too much for me. I'll reply to it later and then I'll exit. And then I'll, I'll just happen to forget that it's there. And then I won't think about it and then I'll forget again and again and again and again. And it just, yeah. But that's just the way the news goes. Also, I'm hungry. This has kind of turned from like, what's new in my apartment? Now it's just gonna be an evening with Emma. I said before that I ordered the, uh, the bedding, but I haven't yet, so I'm just gonna order it now. I did not realize that that was in US dollars. <laughs> oh, that's so rough. So that's $61 for Carefresh. But that's 50 liters of it. Oh my God. You're so expensive, why are you so expensive? <laughs> I love you. I don't have enough bread. Be right back. I got bread. They don't sell hamburger buns. They just sell, I mean, they sell butter rolls, but they're like, I don't know, that big. I have one onion. It is rotten on one side. Now you're going to see Emma in her true trash form. We're going to see if this side's still good. And it is. Oh yeah. I might add a bit of pizza sauce just for an adventure. They're pretty ugly, but it's not about look, it's about the taste. Okay, while it stops cooking, I'm gonna put one piece of bread with butter on it and one piece of bread with vegan shred on it to put it in the grill. I've just put some leaves of pak choy in uh, with a little bit of tonkatsu sauce. Lol, I burnt the toast. Also, there's all my cans. I haven't taken them out yet. Whoops, okay, let's assemble. one bite and then I'm just gonna turn you guys off and eat and chill out. It's so good, it's great. I'm gonna zone out. I love you guys. I'll talk to you in a second. I need to sleep but I came out of the bathroom and she was just like sitting there looking up at me. I know she wasn't looking up at me, she was looking up at the sound because she can't see very far, I've noticed that. She relies mostly on sounds and smells. So she's never had a whole almond before. I don't know if she'll um She'll fully appreciate it right now, but let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yes, that is hitting the spot, huh? That's a big nut. I'm probably gonna give you half of that because it's so big. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Right now, I'm editing the next sponsored video to come up, which is a vampire cafe, which is really fun. So um, <laughs> that'll be out soon. Hi, hi. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. Have a good day, guys. Janet. <laughs>